Hi everyone, I'm Lucy and you're watching Keep Petite. And this is my first video of 2023 and it's a Friday Sews. So I really hope you enjoy um, what I'm talking about today. And if you're new here, you're very welcome. And thank you for returning if you're one of my subscribers or you've been here before. So today I want to talk about my latest make, which is what I'm wearing today. Um, it's a pair of pyjamas. Now, what I've done is I've actually combined two different patterns and I got the idea from my lovely friend Angela from Devon Thread Tales. So I've given the pyjamas the little nickname of the Angela pyjamas. So, um, yeah, so let me tell you about the two, um, show you the two patterns that I've used. So for the top, I've used the um, Grain Line Studio Linden sweatshirt. Now I have made this before um, and so I knew what size to make and actually, excuse me one second while I pop my goggles on, just to tell you about the sizing. So yeah, so you can do a long sleeve um, version or the, or the sort of more t-shirt style. And it's just got the standard neckline and some cuffs on the sleeve. I'll show you this in more detail in a minute. And then the band around the bottom. Now, yeah, in terms of sizing, I was um, all over the place. So in the bust, I come between a size 12 and 14. In the waist, a size 16. And in the hip, a 40. So what I did was... I did what I always do and looked at the finished garment measurements and also thought about, you know, the kind of ease that it's got. And I decided to kind of put myself in the middle and did a size 12. Obviously, I worked that out the first time that I made one. And then um, I haven't really changed in size since. So I thought um, I knew that one would fit OK. So, um, yeah, like I say, I'm going to change the camera angle so I can show you sort of the full set properly in just a mo. But um, for the bottoms, I have used the Hudson, Hudson pattern, um, True Bias. Now, again, I have made these before. Um, they're, um, you know, just a sort of standard type of jogger. They are quite tight fitting on the model here and mine mine aren't very tight fitting so I could possibly size down. But um, yes, I have made these before as well. So again, I stuck with the same size, but just, you know, to, you know, in case it's um, helpful for you to have this info um, on the size chart, <clears throat> I come up on the waist here between a 14 and 16. Um, and on the hip, I'm between a 10 and a 12. So again, I, I had, you know, the first time I made them, I put myself in the middle and um, with it being an elasticated waistband and having a look at the finished garment measurements, I didn't think that was a big risk to take and it worked out very well. So I'm just going to um, change the camera angle so that you can see these properly and I'll talk to you a little bit more about them. So here they are. Um, I was hoping to have not such a messy background, but there we are. So yes, yeah, so you can see um, I've got the cuffed, the cuffs on the bottom of the um, of the joggers. I'll talk about them first. So they have got this nice. Um, of those goggles got a nice pocket detail here that you I think that's the first step you do actually um, and then yeah they've just got the nice um, elasticated waist now you can put a um, a little tie there there's like a cord tie you can feed through but for me personally I don't really particularly like the look of that or and it doesn't serve any function so um so yeah I don't I just leave them plain and the pockets are just a lovely size um yeah and, you know like I was saying they are quite um kind of baggy on me but that's that's nice especially when it's you know for pajamas because you want them nice and relaxed so I'll just come forward so you can see the top a bit better 
Um, okay, yes. Yeah. So, yes, it's just a standard um, sweatshirt. It's got the it's got the band on the bottom. Um, I just used some. It's just a cotton jersey. This, by the way, it's from First for Fabrics. I got it quite a long time ago, so unfortunately they probably haven't got it in anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, you can just see that that pattern, just some little black flecks. So yes, I used some black ribbing for the neckband and the cuffs, which was also from First for Fabrics. Um, and you can see the um, raglan sleeve, really, really super simple to construct. Now, what I did do is, and I've talked about this before, I find that um, a lot of the time sleeves are really long on me. Um, I just, I'm petite generally, and then I, I must have a short arm. So I did actually find a really helpful note that I'd left on my pattern piece that said um, shortened by four inches. But I did think that that might be a little bit too much, just sounded like quite a lot. So, um, and again, I thought with them just being pyjamas, it's not going to matter exactly where it is. So I actually shortened the pattern piece by three inches and that has worked out really well because sort of, as you can see if I if I bend my arm it's just coming up you know just to pass my wrist and then if I want to kind of pull them down to feel a little bit more warm and cozy I can do that as well so that worked out really really well. Okay so I hope that gave you a good insight into you know how the pajamas turned out i am over the moon with them they're so so comfortable and um, i just want to make some more right now but i don't think i've got anything in my stash or enough of something in my stash to um to make another pair at the moment but they will definitely be um, on the agenda again soon so um oh yes i forgot to mention i actually made them well i got most of them done at the um the last so tune session i went to so that was a couple of sundays ago and um, it's absolutely lovely going along to those sessions and um if any of the lush ladies that go along are watching hello um you're all absolutely brilliant and it's so much fun um being part of so tune i feel very lucky and privileged so yes that is pretty much um all I wanted to show you today um, of course oh the other thing is um, as you many many of you will be aware the um, the Northern Soul Sisters have launched their new channel um, Ruan and Rachel and Tamlin and actually they were all at the last So Tune session well Tamlin's always there because she runs it but the other girls were there and um, so it was lovely to see them and um, I'm following them closely, of course. And what I'm really wanting to join in with is the um, jacket challenge they've got going. So I have got, I've had a jacket in mind for a while. I picked up a pattern um, in, when I went to Birmingham um, with Angela. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is get that out and um, have a think about what fabric I'm going to use. I'm not sure. I've got some coating um, or something that I bought to make a coat with, but I've never got around to making that coat. So I might use that, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I will, what I'll do is I'll do a separate video to talk about what my plan will be um, and show you the pattern I'm gonna use and have a chat about what fabric I might get or what I might already have. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to being, being part of that. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Do give it a thumbs up if you did, and then YouTube will show it to other people who might be interested. I'll see you again really soon. Bye.